A minim is another note length that's very common in music. Now, a minim is always half the size of a semi-brief. Now, I'm not talking about physical size as the way you draw it. I'm talking about length. Now, when we draw a minim, you have the head of the note, just like a semi-brief, but there's also a stem going to be going off it. Now, the stem can go down to the left, or if I draw another head, it can go up to the right. So either way, it's still considered a minim. And you've got to remember it's half the size of a semi-brief. Now, as we said before, a semi-brief is also called a whole note. So we can call these half notes as well. So half note or a minim, the same thing. Now when you're writing on the music, if the note head is above the middle line, the stem should always go down to the left. Now they say it should go down about the length of the, the staff. So there's no hard and fast rule, but just a rough idea. Don't draw a really short one, don't draw a really long one. So about what I've drawn there. If the note is below the middle, so if I draw one here, the stem should always go up to the right. Now, just a little trick I used to remember when I was young is I'd call it P's and D's. So I'd remember that looks like a P and that looks like a D. So that would help me remember it. So down to the left, up to the right. That's really important. You can't put it on the other side or the, uh, you know, mix it up at all. Now, if the note is in the middle, it actually can go either way. So if I put the stem down, it could go that way. Or if I draw another note in the middle here, the stem could go up. Both are correct. Right? It doesn't really matter at this point. So just remember, a minim is a half note, and it's not coloured in. It's got the head like a semi-brief does, and a stem coming off it.